Good afternoon, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 729 Southeast 130th Avenue here in Portland. We're located up on the rooftop going down through the four inch cast iron vent. We're gonna insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We do have water currently running. We'll zero out the foot counter down at the base of the vent stack. Off we go here. We go right into some standing water. We'll take a look at when we come out at the end. See how significant that is. And then we transition immediately into 3034 PVC pipe. That almost looks like six inch diameter pipe there. As far as I can tell, that is six inch is a little unusual. Normally you don't see that transition to six inch until you're out by the street curb. Now that bigger six inch pipe has a bit more leeway to it. It's less, a little less prone to, to blocking. It looks like we've got some standing water here in the PVC pipe. We'll, we'll again, we'll, we'll see most of this stuff, a much better view of it when it's drained out at the end. I've got two sinks running right now, so any standing water we see is gonna be exaggerated.
And alrighty, we have finally reached the main here at 170 feet. We're gonna try and go locate that while the line drains out. We'll get a better view of everything as we come back. The line certainly functions. We got a couple areas to look out that had standing water in them on the way out, but it is a functioning line. My biggest concern is the standing water we saw in the cast iron right out of the gate. There appeared to be quite a bit there, but we shall see here in a moment. I located the camera head successfully. The line terminates at the main out on Southeast 30th. The line looks like it's wrapping around. It, looks, it appears to go out the rear of the home and then wrap around the left side of the house. So almost the, the majority of the line is underneath the driveway. It looks like it's doing a straight shot once it rounds the, the back right or back left corner. Just goes straight up the driveway. In fact, you can see the patch in the, the driveway skirt right before the street. There's a nice patch right there. That is right where your sewer line runs. We've gone through a couple areas here, kind of in the, the first half of the PVC with some super minor standing water like this right here. That, that's about a sixteenth of an inch of standing water. I don't even consider repairs on bellies and plastic pipe until there's at least an inch or more for five to ten feet, but with significant buildup on top of that. Those things right there, not that they couldn't feasibly cause a problem, but if you're blocking up in one of those and backing up, it is 100% because of what went down the sewer line, not the belly. They're just too minor to stop things like toilet paper. If you're putting paper towels and junk like that down the line, you might run into issues there. They're minor enough that I think even the occasional paper towel would scoot through there with little issue. Now for a 170 foot long sewer line, I mean, I, I'm, I'm actually impressed with how little standing water is in it. At least the updated part. The, the cast iron in the beginning is a little bit different story. As far as I can tell here, you know, that might still be, that might actually be four inch pipe. I think it may just be the angle we drop into it. There's a spot out, I don't know if you saw, around 145, 50 feet, my camera kept getting caught when I tried to pull back. That may actually be the six inch transition. When you're looking at old versus new pipe materials meeting up to each other, um, I think this may actually just be four inch pipe there. It's just the way that we come into it looks different than that. This belly here, however, this is one that I am concerned about. One, it's in old, rough cast iron. You couple that with an inch plus worth of standing water, and it, it's, a, it's a recipe that is much, much more prone to clogging than the same standing water in, in smooth plastic pipe. That water's gonna slow things down, then you have rough pipe walls that can grip and hang on the debris and not let it break loose as easily as plastic. So it's an area that's more prone to clogging. Though again, the line's still functioning, uh, but that's a spot there I would actually like to see repaired. If repairs aren't done, just do things. Don't don't ball your toilet paper up. Fold it when you flush it. 
and and certainly do not put things like paper towels tampons flushable wipes stuff like that down the sewer line that'll do a great deal to to mitigate clogs all right so i marked this out back again the line does exit the rear and i think the clean out has been decked over there's a clean out access around 20 feet into the line and I believe it's been decked over at this point. But from this point here, this is probably four feet outside the foundation or two feet deep here. I recommend the cast iron from the base of the bent stack to eight feet be updated. You've got around an inch and a half worth of standing water in the line here. I'd like to see that corrected. Again, the line is functioning all right up. It's functioning, draining slower than it should due to the standing water. And make sure, again, not to put things down the line other than toilet paper, obviously human waste. You can still put food down your disposal, but don't put anything crazy down it like potato peels and stuff like that. Stuff you know that is going to break down easily on its own, not stuff that's going to sit there for a month before it disintegrates. All the PVC pipe we scoped appears to be in great condition, has good flow. The cast iron pipe, I would say, is in fair condition, uh, does not have great flow due to the standing water issue there. I recommend it be fixed nothing else uh, especially if this household goes from you know one person to five people I would certainly re-sculpt the line at about a, the one year mark that's going to give you a baseline for how that belly there is handling your living habits and if you do repairs make sure a re-scope is done and at the time of repair get a clean out installed it, it you want it right by the foundation not 20 feet out it's a very awkward location for where the clean out is currently at